This week, Hopi Outdoor Adventures explores the unique flats just a little north of Tampa, Florida. Morgan meets up with his longtime mentor, Jerry McBride, to test out Hobie's newest addition to the kayak family, the Hobie Mirage Lynx. Oh, it's a giant 20 pound, oh no. With the guide of Savage Gear's Jose Chavez and tons of cool baits, we're sure to have a show filled with redfish, snook, trout, and much more. I've been in Florida for a little bit over a week and it feels really good to be traveling again. It's been almost a year since I've been able to get on an airplane and fly to a different part of the country. So I'm meeting up with my good friend Jerry McBride and the next two days Jerry and I are going to get out on the water in a different area a little bit north of Tampa. We're going to be doing some flats fishing, trying to catch redfish, snook, maybe some trout. <laughs> Ever since I joined Hobie, Jerry has been there for testing kayaks, helping us get photos and video. So he was very kind to kind of take me under his wing and show me the techniques that, that are needed for catching fish in this area. And anytime I get to fish with Jerry, it's just a pleasure. I always feel good about, uh, you know, it gives me an excuse to go fishing and uh, get in the circumstances like this, but uh, I don't have any official role with Hobie. I just, uh, I'm just very fond of their products and their people. Oh, dang. Looky over here. Jose from Savage Gears joining us today. Jose's got a ton of awesome baits. We got different top waters, jerk baits, shrimp patterns. Another cool thing that we have is the PowerPole Micro with Sea Monster 2.0. And what that means is it's a new software that you can integrate with your Android phone or iPhone. And in addition to that, they're also more waterproof and durable. I want to show you guys these little bags from Daiwa. They're awesome. They got a zipper at the top. They very conveniently just go right under your seat. And man, we're looking at this launch and there's just big rocks. It's it's a recipe for disaster. Hold on one sec. Sure. <laughs> now watch it. This it's slippery down here if you haven't been down here. We get the boats down to the water, and it really helped that the Mirage Lynxes are very lightweight platforms. They're super simple. So that's the beauty of kayak fishing, you know? We can get our watercraft into areas that you can't necessarily get a boat or anything else and get access to that water. And especially with the low tide, we were able to get out there before anyone else. We start our day off in the middle of the channel. We're working our way up. Uh, it's still low tide, and Jose points out an area that has a bunch of deep grass with some sandy spots in there. You know, I've been making a few casts, not really getting anything, and then all of a sudden, I feel a good thump. All right, first fish of the day. He's right over this little sand pocket in front of me here. All right, beautiful. On the Savage Gear shrimp, look at that. Cool little trout. We're about to get started here. We set up in the channel, the tide's starting to fill in, and man, we're power pole down, holding our position, casting downwind, casting really far, you know, and that's just what we did. We started whacking the trout. Sure is. Holy smokes, they eat this thing. Wow, everyone has inhaled that thing. I've had to dig that lure out of each one of these puppies. Oh, what are you gonna do? Drift down so you can so you can reach my fish? Yep, pretty much. Ooh, a nicer one. He's gonna be so tired by the time I reel him in 500 yards. The fish or you? Yeah, well, I'm I'm old. I expect it. Oh yeah, I cast right into Jerry's hole. That didn't sound good. Ooh, this is, I think, my biggest trout of the day. 
Nicer one for sure. Whoa. Yeah, that's a nice fat one. Three in a row. Ned Minnow in the mouth. Right out. Another one. Woo! I got me a ladyfish. I know these are trash fish in Florida, but they're fun. Well, no, the guides call them poor man's tarpon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Morgan thinks ladyfish are cool. <laughs> oh, Morgan's in heaven now. Wow. <laughs> they're crazy. You're a crazy ladyfish. Wow, perfect. Oh, dude, I got a pompano. Excellent. I got a pompano. I never caught one of these. That's awesome. One of the best fighting fish pound for pound there is. Yes. OK. All right. Pompano. Nice. Morgan and Jerry have caught enough trout for one day. Coming up, they'll start fishing in the mangrove creek and catch a lot of Jerry's favorite species. But you're sure a welcome sight. Come here, buddy. Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We'll be right back. Hobie Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Gerber, Gerber Fishing Gear, Fish Beyond, Lorenz, Find, Navigate, Dominate, Daiwa, Advancing the Sport of Fishing, and by Power Pole Micro Anchor, Swift, Silent, Secure, and Small. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. All right, let's take a quick look at the new Hobie Mirage Lynx, the talk of the town that we've been fishing out of this week. It's an awesome platform, super lightweight and simple. It only weighs 45 pounds hull weight, about 60 pounds fully rigged, and can take up to 350 pounds. Up on the bow, I had a soft cooler mounted up here with some ice, my drinks, and lunch for the day. It's powered with the Mirage Drive 180 with kick-up fins. When you're fishing in an area with rocks and oyster reefs and stuff, those kick-up fins are absolutely key because they fold away. 180 also gives you reverse and forward. The seat's very, very comfortable. You have a steering handle. You can actually switch that from the left to the right side. There's a couple of tracks down here for mounting accessories, a nice EVA standing platform, side carry handles. In the rear, this is kind of my operation center. I have a Hobie seat back bag here, an H-rail tackle bin, uh, a bunch of other accessories, rail blaze, a camera mount, as well as my Hobie H-crate. And that's kind of where I store all of my gear for the day. One key component that is gonna be a game changer fishing in any wind, trying to stop ourselves on the flats and fan cast an area is the Power Pole Micro. You can use a six or eight foot spike with this thing, at the hit of a button, you stop and you're fishing. So check out the Hobie Mirage links at Hobie.com. We had caught all the trout we could stand the first day. So as soon as that tide started rolling in, we headed for the rocks, an acre of rock garden. The bottom was just covered with, with rocks where a little creek came out, immediately started hooking multiple snook. It's a snook. That's awesome. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Species number four. It's a small one, but it's a snook. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that. Awesome. Whoops. And there she goes. Looks like a big trout. No, it's a little snook. Yep. 20 inch snook. But you're sure a welcome sight. Come here, buddy. Put your fin up, honey. Yeah, I had like a trout or something followed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Nice, Jerry. Well, it's a start. We caught enough trout, and now it was time to get up onto the flats, the exciting part of our adventure, and to explore the area. And already I was blown away. You know, we had beautiful, clean water coming in from the Gulf. There was tons of seagrass. We saw manatees cruising around. I was really excited to see what this place had to offer. We're going to be working mangrove edges, fishing potholes on the flats. We started seeing redfish right away. 
Man, it was game on. I've never actually seen so many redfish swimming around in my life. And you know, we had our challenges. We had some wind, so keeping your rod tip low, making a hard, sharp cast right into the spot where you wanted to land your lure was important. And once we started figuring that out, we started catching fish. Oh, two giants on 20 pound. Oh no. I only got 20 pound on. Oh my gosh. Find out what's on the other end of the line when we come back. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Well, the wind is howling. The tide is up. Morgan just came out of those creeks back in the main channel and started working on the shoreline. I set up with the power pole micro on a really windblown point, but it, it had some really big, thick mangroves. I'd seen some, some rocks there at low tide, so I knew it was a good ambush point for a big fish to be sitting. I cast that weedless Savage Gear shrimp in there. Fish, red. That's a red fish. Oh, it's a giant snook on 20 pound, oh no. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, I only have 20 pound leader and these things have really sharp gill plates. Ooh, this is a great fish. Come here, come here, come here, please come in. Come here, come here, come here, keep coming. Get on the kayak. Oh, no! Microphone. Oh. Yeah, I tried to, I was an idiot and I tried to pull the freaking fish in. Full Morgan frantic panic mode. I get the fish up to the kayak. It's still completely green, not ready to come in. And I made a complete rookie mistake. I grabbed the leader and tried to slide the fish onto the kayak. In the heat of the moment, and I thought, oh my gosh, I can be like Kevin Nakata and jump in the water and grab this thing. So I did that. I'm an idiot on so many fronts. I hope you guys can learn from that. Don't try to pull a fish in by the leader. Take your time and grab it by the lip and don't jump in the water with an expensive microphone. Got to take a deep breath, try to reset here and really, really hope that I get another opportunity like that because I blew that. But here we go, I'm gonna keep pushing. The St. Croix's got a nice combination of distance and backbone for a lightweight rod. Not quite a snook, but it's a nice little fish. Oh, there's a little snook. Watched him eat it. See, I should have been more patient with the last fish like this. Let it rest. I kind of thought about those guys that fish all those tournament series and stuff, and when you know you lose a big fish like that, you have to kind of get past it and reset and start fishing again. And after that, I kept on plugging away. And really what helped get me over that sadness was catching a beautiful redfish. All right. Redfish. Beautiful, gorgeous little red. We've been seeing enough of them. That shrimp in her mouth. Look at the colors on that fish. It's gorgeous. Thanks, honey. And let her go. I believe we have a a little better red fish. He's not he's not real big, but he's he's ambitious. Wow, looks like a goldfish. Look good in the sunset. <laughs> so much fun. We've just been cruising along the edges of the mangroves here. Another beautiful little red. Their colors are so pretty. What a great way to spend our first day fishing here north of Tampa in this amazing bayou. You know, it was so cool pedaling along the mangrove edges and seeing thousands of mullet, just seeing the, the vegetation, the bird life, the manatees. Such a cool area. And part of kayak fishing for me is not only catching the fish, but it's getting out there and enjoying, you know, what an area has to offer, exploring that area, 
and also putting a game plan together on how you can catch fish. So a few weeks ago, I was fishing in freezing cold Virginia with my friend Christine Fisher for Big Muskie. And I think we started a new Hobie Outdoor Adventures tradition, and that involves finding a lucky charm at a local restaurant. And we started off there finding uh, a painting that we called the American Classic. And that kind of leads us into this trip. You know, we went to a restaurant the first night and we see this blowfish. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we gotta have this thing. Jerry sees it and he's like, I, I would actually buy that. I like it, it's, it's cool. So lo and behold, we got lucky charm number two. We're calling him Hootie, Hootie the Blowfish. Coming up, it's day two on Film and Bayou. Morgan and Jerry know exactly what to do, and with the help of a new lucky charm, Hootie the Blowfish, well, we'll see what they can catch. Stay tuned. Hobie Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Railblazer. Hold everything with Railblazer. Hobie Eyewear, see life easy. Aftco, American Fishing Tackle Company and by St. Croix Rod, the best rod on earth. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. It's another beautiful day in Filmin Bayou, Florida. It's the start of a new day, and I have a little something up my sleeve. I may or may not have gone to the grocery store last night and may or may not have found a bag of gross dead shrimp. In the bait and tackle section, I found these shrimp. And I know how much Jerry despises using any kind of bait. So these will be perfect for him. So throwing the shrimp on his kayak, we'll see if, how much luck Hootie has. If you think Savage Gear baits are good, wait until you try this. Oh, <laughs> don't touch that. Yeah. I know he likes to outfish everybody, but I think that's kind of playing dirty, taking it to extreme. It's like a banana to some people. You can throw all the bananas you want on my kayak, but don't throw dead live bait or whatever. Uh, but anyway, Hootie overcame, and, uh, and we were good. The target species today is redfish and snook. And so immediately we branch out onto the flats. And so I'm looking and all of a sudden I see a bigger wake and it's pushing stuff around. There's bait fish flying, fleeing for their lives. And I take that Savage Gear topwater and I make a cast. Oh yeah! Big snook, I saw him. It's a big snook, it's a, it's a giant snook. This is my chance for redemption. Bang, big old jack. Well, that's a fun way to start the morning. Big old topwater strike on the flats. <laughs> He's telling me he wants to go back in the water. This is a plier job with these treble hooks. Awesome, awesome. I was hoping it was a big snook. Nice little grunter to start the day. Let's let him go. I love catching jacks. I named my dog Jack. I'm all about the jack. Panama jacks, Florida jacks, I'll take them all. Ah, it's snook fishing. You gotta be the ultimate game fish in Florida. Life doesn't get any better. Hey, you want to see? A, this is the fish, Morgan. This is what this is what we're trying to catch here. Uh huh. So. Oh, got a, not another one. I am so tired of catching fish. <laughs> I was just trying to pretend like I got a bite too. Here, I'll let it jump over by Morgan's boat, so he, you know, so it, there you go. Starting off the day, you know, macho man over here, catch myself a nice big jack. Well, Jerry just kept on whacking snook after snook. Finally, I think once he caught almost every single fish in that spot, we decided to keep on moving. There's a red. I had to catch a proper fish, otherwise Jerry was gonna make too much fun of me. Oh, beautiful. On the Ned Minnow, jig head right there. They're gorgeous. Look at the blue on that tail, on the tip of the tail. Awesome, awesome fish. Nice long downwind cast and right along the mangroves. They're coming up to start sniffing around the mangrove roots and the rocks as the tide comes in. 
And he cooperates by putting his, putting his fins up for me. Power pole down. Yeah, it's a good thing it's not a snook. Stay out of the mangroves, sir. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Yeehaw, look at that. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's let her go. Thank you, miss. Oh, it is big red. I thought it was a jack. Oh, my power pole is deep enough. Here we go. Cooperating, fins up. That was cool figuring out how the fish use like the edges of the mangroves to, to make that transition to places. And once we kind of figured that out, we caught a few more fish, you know? Yeah, so, we just need a little less wind. That would have been nice. But we may do, the lynxes were awesome. I thought I'll tell they you were, what, they, they did this, they handled it nicely, considering yeah. the conditions. And that launch right there with the rocks and crawling over them, getting the kayaks out of the water. 45 pounds is a blessing when you're my age. Yeah, well, my age too. Doesn't make a difference. <laughs> well, that's just sad. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us on Hobie Outdoor Adventures, guys, and we'll catch you next time. We went and found Hootie, and uh, sure enough, next day, Morgan didn't ruin any more microphones, and we caught some nice fish. So um, I'm going to hang on to Hootie. The boys don't get him. She's mine. <laughs>